Hey, what is up everybody? It's Demo here. So, even though Barbarian got north, I'm still gonna be playing it. And a um, couple of times I got requested to do bossing on the um, um, Barbarian. Apparently there is some interest in um, solo bossing in the High Roller. And even though I've already probably shown how to do bosses on a Barb, I haven't shown for sure how to do bossing in the high roller and pretty much in the high roller where that's where the place where you're gonna get the most amount of gold even though you would have to pay 100 gold to commit to a game but pretty much in today's video i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm gonna do how i'm gonna kill bosses how i'm gonna move around and where exactly am i gonna go so first thing first we're gonna start out with the build that i'm gonna have i'm gonna focus with most with build on the barbarian currently after barbarian patches and nerfs um this is the viable build that i'm gonna play with and as for now this is the build that's gonna be quite effective especially when it comes to farming bosses and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to solo boss as a solo barbarian pretty much that's the idea for today's video so pretty much here we go we have axe specialization that will buff our felon axe we have crush we have robust we have potion chugger by the way these two are gonna help a lot when it comes to farming bosses because well pretty much this one gonna heal you up and this one gonna inflict more damage is this one especially especially effective when it comes to stat checking the uh, cyclop boss because at some point you would have to uh dps check the cyclops and do as much damage ideally you would have to go for headshots but we'll get to that point once we get into the game as for the build we're gonna use the combination of rage and achilles strike i've noticed one thing in particular this combo is quite effective and consider how many squishy targets there is in the game like warlocks rogues etc 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 all of those could actually well basically this build could help you against warlocks against rogues especially if you were able to get a little bit of advantage but um in order to get to get that advantage well that's the idea for another topic and in today's video we're gonna be trying to do the bosses alone basically this is gonna be a fairly new experience to me as i haven't really done goblin caves um both bosses at the same time but um after after trying for a bit of normals i feel like it's time to step up our game and actually do both bosses at the same time and basically this is exactly what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you exactly step by step everything i do and i hope you will be able to find something useful or find this video informative or you will be able to learn something from this game this is basically what we're gonna do in today's video basically also keep in mind i'm gonna leave a bunch of stamps all across the video so that you'll be able to see what stage i'm at and what exactly i'm doing and before we get into the video i want to remind you only 7.6 percent of people who are watching my channel has subscribed and the rest didn't if you can consider to press the subscribe button i'd really really appreciate it i play on a barb even though this class got gutted out I'm a bard main both in real life and in the game and I absolutely fucking love this class and even though this class is completely fucking dog shit right now I still love this class and I'm not gonna change um you know I'm not gonna move on to a different class for a while it's like fuck man I only start to enjoy this class you know and they got it us out fucking out but anyway let's go directly into the goblin caves and let's do let's stomp the bosses I'm gonna show you step by step everything and we're gonna hop in the game directly all right I'll see you in the dungeon All right, we are in. Took a while to get into the game, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, well, do I want to kill troll first or cyclops? Maybe since we spawn really close to the troll, let's go kill the troll first. I'll kill a bunch of mobs on the way there since I think we're gonna have a plenty of time. I'm not necessarily too much in rush. Killing a couple of mobs definitely not gonna hurt. All right. I don't want to kill this mob so he doesn't go all the way down. I do like to leave the doors open from time to time. It's definitely going to be helpful. In case if we get and wait it, that's definitely going to help. Ideally, ideally, I highly encourage you to open both doors. But honestly, I don't really care too much. That's why I'm just going to fucking not bother. Time is of the essence. Right, first thing first, walk to the left. Wait until the mob slap the floor, hit it with an axe. Repeat the process. The process is actually very simple. When he does this thing, you can do a double hit. So pretty much every time he smashes the floor with his punch, you will be able to land two hits. Very convenient. That's why I kind of find killing this boss easier than um, in normals. Alright, he did it again. Double hit. We slightly walk away, he did it again. 
two more hits down. All right, let's wait it out a little bit. Sometimes he's gonna roar at you, sometimes he wouldn't. Oops, I am almost missed an attack. There is quite a big penalty to miss an attack for Felon Act, so basically you're not really allowed to miss an attack. You have to be careful, just keep hitting in the head. And basically it would be... Um, we're kind of getting very close. It's almost, almost dead, by the way. All right, I believe we're like four hits away. Three, two... Oops, I missed it. My bad. Two more, still. Okay. And one more. Yep. Okay, my mess was correct, by the way. <laughs> For the first time, I didn't mess it up. Okay. The reason why it took me an extra half of a hit is because I didn't hit a headshot and I hit his uh, arm. Alright, the very next thing what we're gonna do is... Let's loot the pile. In case we get in the way, because from the time, from time to time, when I kill the boss and I go to the Cyclops, by the time I'm done with that boss, someone manages to take all the cheese. And I don't want to give anyone no cheese, you know what I mean? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loot the pile and we're gonna see what we're gonna get as the result. Basically, when you're looting the pile, there is a chance to get a lot of good cheese. Majority of the stuff that you're gonna get will go directly to the trade or there's some stuff that actually would be quite useful so you want to keep an eye out. Of course from the looting the gold pile you will be able to good um, items with the good attributes but um, personally, personally I look for bangles. Unfortunately I got two of purple quality and the ones that I'm looking for needs to be blue. Any other quality not gonna work. So if you end up getting blue bangles of different quality, those are gonna be extremely helpful for the treasure down the line. It's gonna be, I believe, the quest number seven. Yeah, I think that's the one. After that, you're gonna get a bunch of other tasks. So yeah, pretty much if you completed the first six, you would get a task which would require a stupid amount of blue quality bangles. So I highly encourage you not to sell them and keep them. For the upcoming task. I do need to google up what is next task going to be after that one. Because I completely forgot. I'm going to be honest. Alright, I feel like I mentioned everything that I want to mention. So pretty much when it comes to killing a troll. Just make sure you circle left. And basically you keep landing the hits. There is a strategy where you can kill it by circling right. But honestly, I don't feel that comfortable doing that with a barb with a felon axe. I haven't seen really anyone doing the troll with a felon axe. Because it actually could be quite unforgiving. One missed hit would punish you pretty hard. Like, up to the point where you can die. So, ideally, ideally you want to use a different weapon for bossing. But since I'm a felon axe enjoyer, basically I'm trying to practice it for... Each and every activity that I do, including bossing and, you know, PV. That's why, like, you know, I'm kind of sticking with the Felon Axe. But let's say if I would change to Bardish or Zhui, I would be able to do it much, much faster. Not necessarily a lot faster, but one, it's going to be a lot easier, less punishing, and probably 10 to 20 seconds faster, which is actually quite a lot. Consider the fact that after that, you would be able to, uh, you know, loot the treasure pile faster and just... Overall, if you save 10 to 20 seconds per kill, you'll be able to loot faster, you will be able to move faster. Sometimes you will be able to catch up or get away or just uh, do more activities, you know. So the faster you do it, the better. So consider to use the other weapon, especially when it comes to killing the troll. But if you just want to repeat the process, you're free to use this video as an example of how to kill the troll. As for now, we're gonna go directly into the Cyclops room and we're gonna try and clear it out. I haven't done Cyclops solo in a high roller in quite a while, but I did practice it for quite a bit in normals and I do believe the mechanics are going to remain the same. As for the now, we gonna clear up pretty much every door on our way. I'm not gonna bother with these mobs because I don't want to spend time on mobs. The faster we get to the Cyclops, the better. Also, keep an eye out on potential players that could try to invade you in the process. From time to time, that does happen, but surprisingly, I haven't really encountered no players. All the mobs that are left, they're still there, untouched. Oh, I don't want to get hit by the wither. I'm gonna circle around. Okay. 
This is actually such a free way to get in, but I do feel like the wither is still gonna be aggroed on us, by the way. Oh, sure, the hell the skill time, we gotta kill it really quick. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the shield. Right, we do quite a decent amount of damage. Once again, if you're doing Cyclops, keep both or troll, keep both door open. This is what we're gonna do. First thing first, try and focus the headshots. Headshots are way too important. Wait until he slams the door. If you start to attack midway, the Cyclops could catch you. And when he catches you, you probably might die. You don't want to do that. Also, you don't want to miss their hits like I did. Missing a hit is nearly equivalent of a death. Because you never know when you're going to do enough damage for him to do the um, slam until you do this many times. There's one thing that I noticed. I had to hit him five times, including a couple of headshots, for him to do the animation. I was lucky enough to do the two headshots, and two headshots seems like more than enough for him to do the thing. The, um, you know, the stop, like the DPS check phase. Here we're gonna jump a couple of times, and then we're gonna just crouch. You don't need to look down, it doesn't matter. When he does the slam attack, you can simply walk left, but I highly encourage you to walk to the right more often than you walk to the left side, because he wouldn't be doing the attack that would blindfold you. You don't want to get blinded, so basically do a little bit of left and right movement. And also keep an eye out, you gotta try and land headshots more often, as much as you can do it, so keep doing the headshots. Here I just missed the hit, which punished me pretty hard, I'm walking side to the side, we got a couple headshots, probably three more hits and that's gonna stop him. One more, I believe, yep, that was it. But we lost a lot of HP and we got three headshots down, which is enough to proc his Cyclop vision. I'm gonna heal up. Seems like we actually did way too much damage, so okay, good to know. Three headshots is enough for him to cast two spells. Now we're just simply gonna try and heal up while avoiding his attacks. We're gonna get to the side, we got two more headshots. We're gonna walk away, go back, headshot. Alright, one more body shot. Not bad. I mean limb shot. Alright, here's a problem. He's way too far away and uh, don't get hit right here. I was able to dodge one attack which is pretty nice. Couple body hits here. That ain't right. Okay, phew, barely, barely. If I'd get double tap, I would've died here. And luckily enough we were able to do just about enough headshots to kill the Cyclops. Wow, holy shit, wow. Actually quite impressive personally, because I haven't done the many Cyclops alone, nor have I done it in the High Roller. But the more you do, the more practice you get down, the easier it's gonna be. First thing first, we're gonna go directly to the middle room, and we'll try to find what the cheese the game has to offer. Usually there is a chance to find the legendary or unique weapon, but as for now, we get to see what we're gonna get. I do believe that there is a chance of getting absolutely fucking nothing. We got a horseman act, unfortunately we didn't get lucky enough to get anything useful. Anyway, we didn't get anything either in the um, chest, that's fine though. Anyway, hopefully we'd get lucky and we'll try to find something good in the um, treasure pile. We're gonna go back directly, we're gonna drop everything. I do want to keep the purple items away from greens and blues, because blue items doesn't cost as much as purple. Well, you clearly know that already, I believe. So right now I'm gonna try and sort out my purple items. Also, I'm gonna try to keep everything, you know, convenient to pick up, especially with getting weighted. From time to time I do like to leave a couple of spots in the top left corner, because it's actually gonna help you with additional items that would be filled up with, and pretty much sometimes it's gonna give you a chance to get something that you wouldn't be able to take otherwise if case if your inventory get overfilled especially in cases where you get a fucking double bird dish or double battle axe it happened to me a couple of times and when that does happen you either gonna get it or it just gonna disappear unfortunately all right let's see if the luck is on our side and let's see what we're gonna get we got grand brigandine that ain't a lot we got a couple blue items i'm just gonna throw them back to the blue where we left them all right let's see what else we're gonna get here this is the first time i did double boss in quite a while usually i only focus one boss and by the time i'm done with one i don't have really time for another because i get to encounter way too much pvp but it seems like no one is about to invade us in this game 
time. Seems like everyone is busy doing their stuff. We got a Whis, beautiful draw by the way. Absolutely not useful. Unfortunately, we got a bangle of a better quality than a blue and the one we are looking for is blue. Oh well, it is what it is. At least we're gonna get some gold. Usually, usually when I just mine gold, I would just go on YouTube and watch something. <laughs> But that got me killed a couple of times by rogues because they're one sneaky bastards and they can sneak up on you and just send you back to the lobby. So don't really, don't be silly <laughs> and just like keep an eye out. Make sure you expect the potential threat. We ain't got that much time, but I do want to make sure that I get everything out of the game as well as I want to keep everything in place. All right, not a lot of time left, but uh, we are fine. I do want to showcase the whole game from the start to the end for people who would be interested in each and every step that I do and try to replicate. It seems like there are some who are interested in this kind of uh, experience and pretty much I'm going to showcase you to the people who may find this useful. We ain't got a lot of time, but usually you don't need more than 45 seconds to get out. And pretty much we have just about enough time to get each and every gold pile, including each and every chest. Unfortunately, we didn't get nothing. No chest for today in today's video. <laughs> I didn't get a single chest, even though I've previously in the previous patch, I've looted the gold pile over um, 2000 times. I was told that usually you get around one chest per thousand, um, per thousand times you looted the gold pile. But it uh, doesn't seem like this is the case for me because um, it's a lot easier for me to save up enough gold and buy a gold chest. <laughs> oh well, that's just unfortunate. Anyway, I feel like we will dump our bags and it's time to get out. Usually when I would go out, it all depends. You can risk it and you go to the middle and that's exactly where we're gonna go. I wanna risk it, hopefully no one was there, but this area is highly populated, so... Pretty much you do need to be a little bit careful. All right, we're gonna jump over the box. We failed the jump. That is it. That's soldier over. We don't use savage roar because it's fucking grief. The perk got, got it out, but it would be very convenient, especially if you're trying to find bosses because you would be able to scream and make the mobs run away in fear. Anyway, it's demo. I hope you was able to learn something and I'll see you in the dungeon.